Wow. <laughs> Let's have another round of applause for those next leaders for this country. <laughs> Nothing ever goes easy for us from the neighborhood. And very few people know, but these guys traveled, they, they got ready to leave at four in the morning to come up here to be here today. Wait, the story gets even better. Then of course, nothing goes easy for poor folks. They got a flat tire on their way here. But they're here right now and they're not going anywhere. I bring you greetings from poor and working people in the United States of America. I stand here today as a formerly homeless mother, a single mother of two children, Mark and Guillermo Santos, and I proudly accept the Green Party's nomination for Vice President of the United States. <laughs> this journey began many years ago for me watching my poor mother struggle to survive and provide for five hungry children. I never knew why we had to go hungry, especially when I saw so much food in my home state of Minnesota. I didn't understand. I grew up watching my mom cry night after night about the bills. I grew up watching farmers lose their farms. And I grew up watching indigenous families struggle for something as basic as their land. Something just didn't seem right to me, especially that day when I had to tell my nine-year-old son, Mark, that we were no longer going to be living in an apartment. Instead, we would have to move into our car. But on a cold winter night in Minnesota, I lost my home, the car, when I parked my car and a drunk driver hit and totaled it. Unable to find shelter, in the dead of the winter in Minnesota, I faced an important decision. Occupy a heated, abandoned house or risk freezing to death on the streets of America. I chose to live and I chose to keep my son alive. So we moved into that abandoned house. And we moved thousands of families into abandoned houses for the last 25 years. But something changed way deep down inside me that night. My hunger for justice was born. I figured that if me and my son Mark were left to just die on the streets of the United States of America, this had to have been happening to other families across my wealthy country. Well, here I stand today, some 25 years later. Now I have a burning flame for justice. We now suffer from the worst economic equality ever. 
the new movie, The Hunger Games, makes the fight for the basic necessities of life look like a cakewalk when we look at what's happening in our country. One in every two people are in poverty. Six million families have lost their homes. We spend more on building prisons than educating our children. The disabled and immigrants, youth, and our elders have been told loud and clear from our elected officials that they just don't matter. But you see, they do matter. So do the 40,000 children that die every day around the entire world. They matter. And we, the Green Party of the United States of America, are here to stand up and take on our historic role in history. We will refuse to proceed from the politics of fear and scarcity. We know that we live in a land of abundance, a land that is controlled by the corporations, the 1% and the greedy, where both political parties are controlled by Wall Street. But we also know that we live in a land where people love their children, love their country, where we will no longer sit by while Rhonda, Glenn, and Miss Fran, who sit in the front row here, lose their homes to the banks. We will no longer sit by as the United States of America continues to have politicians in the U U.S. House of Representatives that's proposing cutting 300,000 children from free school lunch programs. We will no longer sit by and watch as family members are deported. We are the new and unsettling force that Dr. Martin Luther King spoke of. And the daughter and the woman and the doctor that will help lead this new and unsettling force to create another country and another world that values the human rights of all human beings, it is my distinct honor to introduce my running mate and Green Party nominee for President of the United States of America, Dr. Jill Stein.